What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the main chords and main riff to Masego's Tadao and some of the little riffs that Melanie Faye does in the Tiny Desk version of this, which is the version I'm primarily drawing from in this uh, brief tutorial. So let's get to it. There are only two chords in the tune and in the intro I was playing them with a pick. I think Melanie Faye actually uses her fingers there and um, she starts out by just playing the chord and adding the whammy bar. She uses the vibrato bar, bar so nicely in a lot of her playing. Um, it's an A minor nine chord. So you're gonna do the 12th fret of the A string with your middle finger, the 10th fret of the, of the D string with your index finger, the uh, 12th fret of the G string with your ring finger and your pinky on the 12th fret of the B string. This is a movable chord shape. So this is A minor nine but it gets its name from the root note. The root note is on the A string, so we can move it down A flat nine, G nine. You know, it's a cool chord to know and add to your chordal vocabulary. So the first time she just arpeggiates each note and adds a little whammy bar. Um, and then the next chord that she does is a D minor nine, which could actually also be an F major seven because they're, they're um, they're related keys. So that's the, the relative major, relative minor there. So in that case, she does this little hammer on to the nine. This is a very common thing that you'll hear in a lot of neo soul and R&B. So you bar the 10th fret from the D string down. And what she does is she hammers on with her, she uses a ring finger on the 12th fret of E. So that's the second chord. Uh, but she also does this cool little fill. She just goes down the pentatonic scale with a little legato fill. So she goes, and then she slides this over and then comes back quickly. It's a pretty tricky lick uh, when you don't really know it, but once you start to learn it, it, it makes perfect sense. And then the rest is just going down the pentatonic scale without plucking again. And she does that in a lot of her playing. That's one of her key fills. So that's how the beginning is. And then we just have the main riff, um, which is basically from the Masego track, although she makes it a little bit more percussive um, and accents the upbeats a little bit more. So then it goes, you just arpeggiating the notes in that A minor nine. And then you kind of have this this stopping action with the right hand, you mute. Or you could just, if you're using your fingers, you could just make that really accented on the B string. And then we're gonna walk down on the E string, this little bass line that goes 12, 11, 10. So we're going. And then we're going into a D minor chord, and I just bar the whole 10th fret. And then the little riff goes. So, just like that hammer out of the beginning. And then you're going to go to the 13th fret of B, but you're not going to pick it. You're just going to let the left hand do the work. So. And then the second time through is, is almost like a Hendrixy kind of lick. Then we're gonna go Hendrixy double stop. So you're barring the tenth fret of D and G, and hammering on to the twelfth fret of D with your ring finger, pulling off, going to that twelfth fret of A. So. And then going back to the 14th fret of D, but sliding into, or going back to the 12th fret of D and then sliding into 14th. Thank you. 